Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making some summer slimes. But wait, we are going on tour now. Like it's literally happening. Tour is like in a day, oh my gosh. We are going on tour. Natalie, Wendy, and I are hopping on a bus and we're coming to a city near you. And we are so grateful because Jello is sponsoring the Create Your Summer Tour and we are so excited to be working with them. In this video, we're gonna play with some new Jello product. Jello Play is about to be a thing and I'm so excited. We're gonna make some Jello slime, which I'm so excited about. It's like a fun little summer science experiment. I cannot believe tour is here. It's here, like it's now. Comment down below if we're gonna be meeting you this summer. We're so excited. Get your tickets at createyoursummertour.com. Tickets are selling out. A lot of the VIP tickets are actually sold out already. So make sure to get your tickets right now while you still can. CreateYourSummerTour.com. I'll make sure to link that down below. Go, go, go! Let's get to it. The first slime I want to share with you is this beach slime. I am so in love with this, you guys. I feel like this is the best slime I've ever made. It's so simple yet so cute. To make this beach cloud slime, I'm starting off with some basic old glue. I know there's some people who like to use glue on or even clear base for their cloud slimes, but I'm just going for a basic fluffy cloud slime. I'm taking a mix of yellow and brown acrylic paint to get a nice sand color, and then we're just going to activate this. Now that we got our slime base, it's time to go in with some instant snow. For cloud slimes, it's important to not activate your snow so much. This probably makes no sense, but by activate, I mean adding water. You don't need to soak it up completely. In fact, you don't want to do that because that's more for jelly slimes. You want enough water to just fluff up the snow a little bit, not too much. I then add the snow in a little bit at a time as I need it, and then I just start to see the drizzles come in effect, and that's when I know it's coming together. I also went in with a scent called Blue Hawaiian that smells like a paradise basically, so this slime smells amazing. The last thing I did was added these cute little charms and I think they just made the slime that much better. I got this little beach ball, this little shovel, and this little bucket for sand castles. This slime is so simple yet so cute. I'm literally obsessed with this one. I think this is probably my favorite one. Comment down below what you would name this slime. This next slime was inspired by a pool. I don't know what to name this either. I'm so bad with slime names, y'all. What do you name this? I feel like it's more like a little pool party type of thing, pool floaty, I don't know. But basically what I did with this one is I just made a clear base. So I'm taking some clear glue and what I like to do with my clear base slime is I just over activate the heck out of them. You can tell that this is so over activated and you actually wanna do that because it's gonna sit for about a week to completely clear up. Sometimes it could even take up to two weeks guys if you want a really clear slime that's the trick just over activate it because it's going to melt in the process of clearing up this slime was super simple to make all i did was add one drop of food coloring blue food coloring and then i added these tiny little beads i don't know what the heck you would call these they're kind of like fishbowl beads but they're glass and they're tiny and they're an aqua color so i thought it would be really nice 
Once the slime clears up, it looks absolutely beautiful, and I love how the beads reflect, kind of like a real pool. I put this little donut on top of it, kind of to look like a little floaty. I thought it looked really cute. And then I also got this other floaty that I got at Michael's, which also looked adorable. I love this slime so much okay guys this next one i i'm just i'm in love with it i actually named it island girl let me know if that's a cute name or what would you name it what would you name any of these slimes honestly so i made a clear base slime extra thick and you can tell this is so overactivated. believe me you want to make sure to overactivate. that's the number one tip i can give with clear slime I added a little bit of pink food coloring and I also went in with some purple metallic pigment just a little bit and that was enough. It gave us such a nice finish. I also added some little flower female slices and some fishbowl beads. I'm going to put this in my container and let it sit for about a week to clear out. And I also added a few shells. Alright y'all, this next slime is such a fun summer activity that you can try with your friends or heck, even year round. Jello plate is coming for weaves, honey, and I'm so excited. I went ahead and made two batches. The red one is strawberry and the green one is lime. This is literally the easiest thing ever. It takes legit one minute to make, not even exaggerating. All I did was I took some slime mix, which is their secret recipe, and I added water. And that's all I needed. I mixed it for about a minute and got this crazy slimy stuff. This really reminds me of some cool stuff called Ooblick, except this smells incredible and is basically edible jello slime. What I really like about this is that it's so weird. Like, it's a liquid, but it's also a solid at the same time. And then you grab it and you can mold it. But if you let it go, it kind of melts into your hand like slime. It's so weird. I also really like that the smell of the jello is so strong. Like, my room smells like strawberries and lime. Yummer. Enjoyed. Again, thank you to Jello for not only sponsoring this video, but for sponsoring the Create Your Summer Tour. You guys, we are on tour. Like, it is happening right now. I need to go pack my bags. We are so excited to meet you guys. Tickets are selling out, but you still have a chance to get your tickets. CreateYourSummerTour.com. Click the link down below. Go get your tickets right now. Tell your mama, tell your granddaddy, bring your friends. We're so excited to meet you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The next video that comes out, we will be on tour already. Bye. We'll see you in San Diego. <laughs>